kidding me? What is my life? give a huge shout out to Nick's teen for coming in clutch with this video and helping a sister out by providing me with some oh no proof period proof underwear so some of you guys might be wondering what the heck is going on here today Sarah what is Nick's teen so they're actually a really amazing Toronto based company that makes a specific type of underwear that's gonna help protect you against period leaks you heard it right guys you heard it right I'm here today talking about my period on the internet. I'm not gonna tell you too many specific details because I feel like that could just get a little bit creepy. I'm gonna take you through my week of my outfits and what I realistically wear on my period. This week happened to be a super busy one so it was the perfect time to test out the Ono Proof bikini underwear and I'm so glad I did it because you guys will just see throughout this video. I'll talk a little bit more about the underwear throughout and how beneficial they truly were. I wish I had these like back when I was in middle school and high school and I had just got my period and you have those long days at school and their website's gonna be linked down below and I also have a 15% off discount code for you guys. So you can definitely pick some up. Let's get into a week of outfits on my period. I'm checking in, it's day one, maybe not even day one yet. This just kind of <laughs> explains to you in one little short clip of where I'm at right now. I threw on my bicycle shorts. I had the underwear on and you guys couldn't see them at all. They are seamless, which is amazing. And usually I struggle with that. Like a lot of underwear claim to be seamless, but they're not. Threw them on with this big oversized chunky sweater just in case. I like to have that extra protection like and the coverage and I just wasn't feeling like wearing anything super tight and slimming. Unfortunately, I didn't even end up getting my period on this day. So this is just pretty much sums up my life in a nutshell, but I had myself all prepared. I was so convinced I was gonna get it. And then I don't even think I got it for like another week or two. Finally got my period this morning doing well and I'm just still in my pajamas I actually have to film like a bunch of outfits today so you best believe that I'm gonna be wearing my next wear so that I don't damage any of the goods don't have any accidents and yeah that's what we're about to do I'm gonna link that video up in the cards I didn't even like wash my face or anything I'm realizing now so hopefully I'm okay drinking coffee is probably just not the answer So day two, I actually didn't do that much. I made it to the gym. I don't know how that was a thing, but we got there, so that was good. And I decided to test out the underwear again with wearing some leggings, obviously, because that's like a very common gym article of clothing. So again, as you guys will see here, I tried to record my butt in the gym, but it was kind of awkward. So I don't really know how good the shot is gonna be, but again, no panty lines, no problems. Doing good? Skin, not doing too well. Stomach, doing a little better. Didn't have to leave the house today, so that was a big bonus. So pretty much all I'm wearing is this really cute waffle knit. It got kind of chilly randomly here in Toronto. Kind of scared, low key. Don't really want to be winter here anytime soon. Not to mention, these shorts are perfect for today because they're just loose. They're good. No problems with the panty lines not a situation we're doing great we're comfortable this is all I could ask for on day three so on to the last two days of my mother nature cycle I was feeling pretty good by the end of the week and was very comfortable wearing pretty much whatever I wanted to at this point the bloating had kind of cooled down a little and I was feeling a little bit more like my normal self We just went to the mall. I'm wearing this shirt. It's a little crop thing. 
baggy shorts because that's just the mood this week and my Nikes and we just did some shopping. Today I'm feeling good so I decided to like show some stomach because I'm not feeling as bloated anymore. I don't know if you guys feel the same way but like can you really, usually I feel the worst like the first few days and like before but feeling great today so we're out here and we'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys, so we're out here in public again talking about my period, it's great. <laughs> Rachel and I just went to an event, nice. and I had to throw in another outfit, but as I said, I'm doing pretty well today. I feel like I'm filming like a haul right here. <laughs> I did get two pair of nude and two pair of black, but since I was wearing white pants, obviously on the last day, I had to wash the ones that I wore at the beginning of the week. So they're great because they're very environmentally friendly. It's better than using panty liners because you can reuse the underwear. Obviously, all you need to do is wash them with all your other regular clothing and you're good to go and wear them again whenever you need them next. You can only get a couple pairs. I'd recommend really wearing them right at the beginning, washing them, doing your laundry, getting all hygienic and then washing them at the end. All right guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was super realistic, as I said. I had some days where I didn't really wanna be dressed how I was, but I had to do what I had to do and the underwear really made sure that everything was gonna go smoothly throughout my crazy busy week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out Nick's team down below. And again, a big thank you to them for sponsoring this video. And that is it. I'll see you all in my next video. Mwah.